Hey everyone, Eric here back with another video. One of the last videos I made was a follow-up to something I went over in my mod overview, and I thought I'd go over a different mod, but in more of a traditional review fashion, as opposed to just answering the frequently asked questions that I found. Also, I just want to give a big thanks to the bunch of people that subscribed from my last video. Uh, if you want to see more detailing stuff, don't worry, it's on its way. I just thought I should finish up the last of the three mod videos that I had on my Avant, and then once this one's done, then detailing videos will be coming out more and more often. So in this video, we're going to be going over the RS style grille from ECS Tuning. As a wagon guy, I really love the look of the C7 RS6 Avant, but as much as I can wish, it'll probably never come here to Canada. So my next best bet was a B8 A4 Avant. Now, stock, I have to say it's pretty boring looking, as you can tell by these pictures, and I spent a lot of time on Audi Zine and other forums looking at what people have done to their Vaunts, and I decided on a grill change, and more specifically the RS style grill, and then I found one through ECS Tuning, which looked pretty good. So in this video, we're going to be going over three things, the quality, the fitment, and the ease of installation. Then at the end of the video, I'll mention whether or not I'd recommend this grill. So the first thing is the quality. Right out of the box, the grill seems a pretty decent quality. It's not solid, but it has a nice heft to it. And while it does twist back and forth, it doesn't twist much more than the stock grill. And the gloss coating is nice and even too, and there aren't any visible seams or anything like that that would take away from the overall look of the grill. And the fitment is also pretty close to stock. The panel gaps are fairly tight and even all the way around. And the only issue I have is the fitment on the bottom of the grill. Now despite the fact that all of the screws and bolts from the stock grill have been transferred over and all of the clips have been clipped backed in, there's still a fair amount of movement back and forth. I'm not sure if this is because of the lack of support structure behind the grill, which would normally prevent this from happening. And the reason why the support structure isn't put back into this car is due to the fact that this style of grill doesn't have the built-in mounts for it like the stock one does. But despite that, it's not really a big issue and it only really happens when you're washing the car and you can push it back and forth. When you're driving, I don't really notice it. Mainly because I can't see it, but it's not that big of an issue. Now onto the part that had me most concerned, and that's the installation. And the reason for that is because you actually have to remove the bumper from the car. And while I'm not going to be doing it for this video, it's really simple. So in order to remove the bumper, there are two bolts in each wheel well which hold the fender liners on. And after you remove those, you'll be able to get to the two bolts on each side which hold the bumper onto the car itself. Then there are a few up top and a few down below that are really easy to get to. After that, you'll need to do some cleaning of the crash bar and some painting. I personally use brake caliper paint as it'll be more heat resistant and hopefully won't chip as much if uh, rocks and other things hit it. Once the bumper was off, it was a matter of transferring the bolts and the screws and then the Audi rings. All very simple and it's just a matter of making sure everything's transferred over. Then after that, it's really just a reversal of those steps in order to put the bumper back on, which hopefully are covered in the uh, links down below. But overall, the quality is great. The fitment is pretty good, despite the one section flexing back and forth. And while installation can seem daunting, it's really a piece of cake and should maybe only take around an hour with a decent chunk of that being waiting for the paint to dry on the crash bar. So I definitely recommend this grill if you're looking for a change from the stock grill, which is really boring looking. And if you want to get one yourself, I'll have a link below to the one that I bought, which is the gloss black on gloss black, gloss black on gloss black. It's a tongue twister. Uh, there's also another version which has the gloss black mesh with a chrome bezel around it, but I don't have any chrome on my car, so I decided against that one. But if you do have chrome in your car, I think it'll look pretty cool. Also, if you have this grill or you're waiting for it to come in, I'll have a link down below to two installation guides. One is the written one that I used, but there's also a uh, video one from 1aauto.com, which I just kind of used to make sure that everything was still the same. Uh, well, it's for a B7 Avant, I believe, in their video. It does work for this one as all the things are relatively similar. Uh, the only real difference are the type of fasteners you're gonna be using, but it's pretty simple overall. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about my A4 Avant, you can click right here for a mod overview video in which I talk about the grill once again. I talk about the rims and the brakes and that sort of thing. Or you can click right here to see my last video, which was my Ammo Mud versus CarPro Pearl video. But before I leave, I just want to remind you guys to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.